Again, a lot of what we're doing today is going through how to help people plan for um, a move out to Spain, whether you're moving out there permanently or, or not. Um, again, everyone's told you a little bit of how they can plan in their individual areas, but currency exchange is something that people will often leave until the last minute. However, um, with a bit of forward planning and planning ahead, you can actually save yourself a lot of money by being a little bit more strategic about how you're doing things. Um, just to give you a bit of background on our company, we're a foreign exchange specialist. We're based in, uh, in West London, in Hammersmith. Uh, we've got about 40,000 clients, been going um, about 15 years now. I've been at the company 11. Um, and essentially our role is making sure that, as I say, people are buying abroad in as risk-free way as, as is possible. Um, I just want to go through sort of a few basics of buying a property uh, abroad, in this case out in Spain. Um, some of these sound very, very simple, but they're often, as I say, things that people don't do. So first of all, no estate agent, the guys of Vincent aren't going to be able to show you the right property unless you know your sterling budget. Um, lots of people will come to us, say I've got a sterling budget of uh, £100,000 and I say what's that in euros and they, they don't really they don't really know. Uh, equally, the other way around, some people will say I've got €130,000 to spend, but they aren't really sure what that is in pounds. So the bit in the middle is, it sounds very simple, is the exchange rate, but that's where we can, we can help. Um, so it's about putting a strategy in place to make sure that we can do that for you. So if you understand that budget, your agent's going to be able to show you the right properties. You're not going to end up disappointed further down the line. Now, Understanding the importance of currency fluctuations. Um, I've been using this example all day and yesterday as well. Um, I came up here on uh, Thursday evening um, uh, to set everything up for Friday. A lot of our guys came up on the train from London on Friday morning uh, and said to me, well, did you see what happened with the rates of exchange yesterday evening? Well, no, I, I didn't, unfortunately. I was up here. Um, and lo and behold, um, Mark Carney, the governor of the Bank of England, speaks on Thursday evening about Brexit and all of a sudden, the price of the pound goes down by 1% against the euro. So anyone who's looking to spend 200,000 euros on a property, it's 16, 1,800 pounds more expensive. So it's about understanding the impact that those things can have on your plans. You can end up in a situation where, you know, all of a sudden the property that you were looking to buy is out of budget. And a, a big thing about what we do is trying to sort of stress test your plans. 200,000 euros, best case scenario has been this, worst case scenario it's been this, currently it's around here, what impact would it have on your plans if we were to see a drop below this level? Some people it means they just wouldn't be able to renovate it to as high a standard as they would like, some people it means that they wouldn't be able to buy it. So there's various different things. Um, managing your risks effectively, again, there are things that we can do to protect you against exchange rate movements. It doesn't just have to be what it is with a bank where you go in on the day, they tell you what your property is going to cost you and you say, great, I'll send the money over. We can be a lot more strategic about how we buy. Um, one of the next things on here, forward contract, is a way that we can do that. It's a way of us protecting your exposure. So instead of being in a situation where, as I say, you have to pay at the last minute whatever your property is going to cost you, a forward contract is a way, and I've spoken to a few of you about it already today, of <coughs> securing a rate for a date in the future. You've got to remember out in Spain, you commit to a property purchase from a very early stage. You put your deposit down, you put your reservation fee down, you're buying that house whether you like it or not. It's not like in the UK where you can pull out at the last minute. So wouldn't it be important to know what it's going to cost you? You know, I, I wouldn't buy somewhere in this country if I didn't know what it was going to cost me. So something like a full contract, you fix a rate, you pay 10%, you then know in two, three months time exactly what the property is going to cost you. Um, Pre-funding your client account is always very, very important for, for Spanish property purchases. Um, you can end up you know, in a situation where you're abroad, you find the right place, you want to take it off the market very, very quickly with a small deposit. Um, we'd normally recommend clients to have an amount of money, 5,000, 10,000 pounds on account, something like that with us, such that if you find the right property, you can call us up, we can send the money over straight away. It saves you having to um, worry about sort of logging on to in on online banking from abroad, which can be a bit of a pain. So these are all just things to sort of make your buying journey that bit easier. Um, again, after the property purchase, we don't just help with uh, one-off large property transactions, um, regular payments, bills, maintenance. I have people who 
stick swimming pools in, buy cars, some people move back in the other direction, back to the UK, we can help with all those sorts of things. So it doesn't just have to be a case of property transactions. We also have an online platform. A lot of people will come to us and look to move money over um, just for sort of as and when they need it. So you can log on to our online platform and move the money across in a very, very quick and uh, effective fashion. So again, it's not just the, the big, big exchanges. Um, why smart currency? Um, I'm sure a lot of you are aware there are other companies in our industry, to put it mildly. Um, there's a lot of foreign exchange brokers out there. Um, we're quite proud of the fact that we differ um, and we're very focused on customer service. We're not a commission-based company. So, you know, the rest of our industry is very, very heavily commission-based where a trader earns a percentage of every transaction that they do. Um, to give you an example of that, you know, if a client comes to, to another company and says, I have £100,000 to move over, I've got three months to do it, but the money's available now, when do you think I should do it? Um, if you're paid on a commission, the answer is going to be now. Um, whereas from our point of view, we'll look at the different parameters. I'm not saying we've got a crystal ball, but we can look at the different things that might impact your currency over the course of the coming months that might mean you get an extra €1,000, you might get extra this, that or the other. So. There's various different ways we can do that. Um, security, uh, the big thing I remind anybody who joins my trading team, we're looking after people's life savings. Um, we're not you know, just moving 500 pounds worth of holiday money here, we're looking after people's life savings. So you need to be confident in us. This is why these events are great. You can come, you can meet us, you can talk to us, um, you know, rather than phone somebody up who you've never met before who's handling your life savings. So I think that's important. As part of our security side, we're FCA authorised. We have to hold funds in segregated client accounts. So what that means in the event of anything happening to us, those funds are viewed as yours. We have to have a certain amount of operating funds within the business and our senior management um, are checked to make sure that they're bona fide individuals. Um, you'll have a dedicated account manager for Spain. It's either myself or a gentleman called Matt Bird, uh, who you'll have spoken to hopefully already. Um, we look after all the clients buying and selling out in Spain. And if I'm going to recommend you to look us up um, online on any one of two websites, as I mentioned already, the FCA register, um, you can look us on, on there. And the Trustpilot website as well is very, very popular. Um, we're rated, quite proudly rated as excellent in currency exchange and money transfer. There's well over 1,100 reviews on there that you can read through from people who've actually used the service rather than just <coughs> taking my word for it. Um, Touching on um, forward contracts already, this is a good example. I, I don't really like always using charts because people get a bit intimidated by them, but this one um, is quite powerful. This is from this kind of a period of time last year where you could have come along to an event like this, you could have gone out, viewed a property, found the right one. Um, you put your holding deposit down um, and you phone me up and say, right, what, what is this property costing me? And I'm saying to you, it's costing you about £168,000 at that particular moment in time. You don't do anything. You decide, no, I'll, I'll see how it goes. We'll take a chance. Um, and you sit back and relax. And then four or five weeks later, this is the 10th of May to the 12th of June, for anyone who can't see the dates, um, we end up in a situation where actually the rate of exchange at that moment in time is then 1.14. So all of a sudden, we're, we're five cents lower which for you is seven, seven, nearly seven and a half thousand pounds. So it's the same house, but it's costing you seven and a half thousand pounds more. So not saying, again, not saying we're going to predict the market, but we, if, if we plan ahead, it's all about reducing risk from our side. It's trying to make this property purchase as secure as possible. So you're then up here, rather than having to worry about forking out this amount down here for, for exactly the same house. Um, so just to, to recap there, um, what's your next move? Um, information is key for us. The more information we have, the better. Um, we have clients on our books who might buy next week. We have clients on our books who might buy in 12 months' time. So the more information that we have, the better about your plans. Discuss that. Phone us if you're going out on a viewing trip and saying, I'm looking at a house that's going to cost me 200,000 euros. What's that costing me today in pounds? We'll tell you. Um, establish your budget. The budget is key to any agent helping you out as effectively as possible. Um, and understand any risks that might impact that budget over the course of the coming days, weeks, months, etc. Um, 
get a strategy in place with us. Get a strategy in place for once you have started to enter into a purchase that you know exactly what you're going to do to make sure the property is affordable rather than just leave it open to chance.